For a limited time only, buy an Intel Core i5 or Core i7 CPU and get a free three-month subscription to iRacing.com. Available from participating retailers. Click the link in the video description for more details. Filmmakers need to get over this 24 FPS, like, diva, oh, it looks more cinematic thing. Because you know what? Have you ever watched a movie and gone, oh, there's a pan of mountains? At least I think it was a pan of mountains because it might have been a slideshow from, like, my great aunt's trip to the Alps or something because it's ridiculous. Anyway, I digress. This is my unboxing of the G430 from Logitech, which is pretty similar to the G230. Now, we've addressed an issue with outdoor unboxings that people have been complaining about for a while, and that is that there's nowhere to put the product. We have dragged a table outdoors, and that is the solution that we've come up with. So this headset is part of Logitech's massive refresh of their gaming series products, including the G100S, the G400S, the G500S, the G700S, the G510S, the G... Uh, um, uh, oh, what's the keyboard? The G19S the G230 and the G430. So unlike the G230, the G430 has a blue theme, which is kind of shaking things up a little bit because generally speaking, like the, the, um, like the stereotype is that the high performance extreme edition one is gonna be uh, red whereas like the lower end one will be blue. But in this case, the G430 is actually the more premium headset because it does come with a USB sound card integrated with it, giving it 7.1 surround in software capabilities. So they're using Dolby technology, which by and large is, well, it's definitely one of the better solutions out there. But in terms of the actual headphones themselves, there hasn't been much that's changed. So it's got the same wide headband, but narrow looking pad that I found because it's so soft and squishy. See, it has here, I'm gonna press on this and you guys are gonna see, it has a very slow recoil, see that? That's really important because what that does is it makes it feel kind of funny the first time you ever put the headset on, but once it mushes out a little bit, it mushes out and it puts much more even pressure on your head. I mean, Logitech's good at ergonomics, if nothing else. They've been doing it a long time. The ear cups, on the other hand, do use a harder foam, but it's quite deep. So what you're gonna discover with headsets like this is that they might not be instantly the most comfortable thing you've ever heard, but they will definitely improve over time as they mold to your head. And these aren't the kinds of things that I would lend to someone else because you don't want someone else's head shape, you know, gunking up your, your head groove that's going on here. So the mic is a boom mic. I'm just gonna actually here, we'll show you the, the fitting first. Metal pieces. Love metal pieces here. They just, they inspire confidence. They make me feel good about the build quality of the headphones that I just bought. When you have plastic size adjustments, it just, um, it, feels, it feels cheaper. It just really does. And metal bands really don't add that much weight. So it goes all the way up to ugh, about here and then all the way down to basically kid size, which will sit pretty high up on my head, just like that. So I'm gonna pull those down again. All right, so the boom mic goes up here. Boom mic goes down here. And let's head into the cable. So it's got a nice blue braided cable, very thin, which I personally actually kind of like because it means it's less likely to, uh, to like king can get caught on stuff. And oh well, yeah, they've used a really high quality cable. You can see even though it's been packaged up, there's almost no kinkiness to it. My Logitech G9, by contrast, I've had for years and still has the original kink from when it was uh, bound up in the box. So that's, that's a really nice improvement. And did I say that this was USB? Holy crap, Logitech is doing it the right way here. Awesome. This is the way to do it, manufacturers. For those of you who are wondering, instead of integrating the USB connector directly into the headphones, just include this adapter. There's your USB sound card. Now you have the option to use it as a USB sound card or hook it up to an even higher quality audio source. So these USB sound cards are better than onboard sound. They do provide that virtual surround functionality. Remember guys, you don't need multiple speakers in your headphones in order to get a surround experience. You have two ears and when the speaker's sitting right next to it, you only need two speakers for surround. Go find the virtual haircut a uh, virtual barber shop or whatever on YouTube and you'll see what I mean. But this is the way to do it because then if you decide, no, I wanna use a higher quality audio source such as a dedicated sound card, bloop, you plug those into that and you are ready to go. So there you go, way to go Logitech, doing things the right way. The inline control is very simple. You've got a volume wheel on the side here. 
There you go. As well as a microphone mute button. I would have rather seen Logitech implement a microphone mute. There's a little clip on the back. Uh, by raising the boom pull, Sennheiser did this on their PC 363Ds as well as their 350SEs. It's a very elegant way to deal with it. So um, there, that, there's a tip that I wish everyone would get from, uh, from what Sennheiser's done over there. The microphone, because it's a boom mic and not a retractable mic, isn't that adjustable in terms of positioning but it is noise canceling and you can kind of go up and down like this and it does have some bendiness to it as well so you guys can see hopefully from that angle that it can ah uh, I find the easiest way is like ah uh, put it right in my mouth and then it'll kind of end up in about the right place you want it at the corner of your mouth for optimal listening for the other people so I'm going to see if I I haven't even looked at what they have to say about themselves on the box so performance sport cloth ear cups are removable for cleaning oh that's actually really nice because some people do get sweaty when they game. I'm not judging. Uh, three year warranty, USB adapter, Windows 8, Windows 7, or Windows Vista to use the USB sound. 7.1 surround sound, 40 millimeter drivers. This is something that probably would have been good to mention. And I think that is pretty much it. Ah, lay, lay flat ear cups. Okay, this is something. So there you go, lays flat. Uh, this might not be important for some people, but if you fold your headphones up and you put them in a bag, this isn't quite as elegant as a folding design, but at least it allows you to slip it into a side pocket without worrying about it getting messed up. My parrot Zeke's, I sat on them on a plane, and uh, the, the, yeah, the ear cup that wasn't supposed to go like that went like that the other way, and it was a really, really bad experience. So being able to fold them up like that's really nice. Just want to give you guys sort of a nice look at what they look like. So they do have the blue accent here as well as the blue cloth, unlike the 230s, which don't come with the USB adapter, but that's pretty much the only other difference, and they're red. And then let's see if we can figure out how to pull off that, uh, that removable ear cup piece here. Oh, that's simple. Okay. So there you go. You take that off, wash that, make sure you dry it before you put it back on your head, and there you can see the four centimeter speaker grill behind where, the, where this sits. Your sides are clearly labeled, but remember guys, the boom mic is always on the left, and I think that pretty much wraps it up. Thank you for checking out this unboxing on Linus Tech Tips. Don't forget to subscribe for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.